David, you did you did good today. You balanced yourself out. You mm. did what you needed to do. You had a good day. Be be thankful for that. But tell yourself those words. If you got to write it down in your phone, yeah. you got to put it on your wall. Tell start telling yourself something good. Again, and I, and I don't mean the stresses, but I have to be repetitive. We hear so much negativity in this world over and over every every day. Sometimes it's just good to tell ourselves we can make it or we made it through the day. Teachers, whoever it is, yeah. tell yourself that you can do it. And I guarantee you, you start doing that, things start to change. I love it. That imposter syndrome, that is something that has to, has to, I put it like you have to, every time you see it come, you have to, you have, it's like you in a boxing match with the imposter syndrome. You have to knock it down every time because if you don't, you'll get side strike. You'll get that, you'll get that two piece. That two, <laughs> that two piece gonna come, but you gotta be ready for it. You got, and what's your defense? I can do it. I'm able to do it. I can do all things mm. through Christ that strengthens me. Absolutely. And we have to be able to use the word. The <laughs> word of God is not just for Sunday morning and Wednesdays. We have to be able to use that in every area of our life, our relationships, our personal lives. You know what I mean? Yeah. Our entrepreneur um, advances. We have to be able to use that. And sometimes when we don't use those things, and I know there's people that are not believers, that's and that's fine. I would just encourage anybody, um, no matter how much you feel like you have um, everything together, you still need the presence of a of of the higher power to help you in the lane that you want to go into. For instance, I knew that if we're if we're still talking about this imposter syndrome, I had to get into a different mindset. Because there was times that I doubted myself, you know, continuously. Right. I, like I said before, I've, I've quit 221, 22 <laughs> times. But I had to realize what I have inside of me is going to work. And even if I don't even believe it at that time, something is pushing me mm. to do it. Something is motivating me to do what I'm doing. Yeah. There are times, everybody, that you're going to be in this life... And you might, you might not believe what you have is a great idea. That business idea might not, you might not feel like it is, mm. but he's always going to show you, this is the blueprint that I have for you. You have to do it. You got to find yourself doing it and having the confidence in you, in yourself and in your abilities, because he's giving you the ability to do it.